Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. I am at Rock Creek Park, Washington, D.C. area. Let's talk about Chandra Levy. Remember the Chandra Levy case way back in 2021. I also want to talk about the Rachel Marin case right now going on in Bel Air, Maryland because the Rachel Marin case kind of reminds me a little bit about the Chandra Levy case. For some of you that might or might not know, Chandra Levy was an intern with the Federal Bureau of Prisons, right? The Federal Bureau of Prisons. She was an intern. She was also, she also had a thing going on with Congressman Gary Condon. And she went missing in May of 2020 or May of 2001. She went missing. Her remains were found in this park here, Rock Creek Park, a year later, 2020, 2002, 2002, May. A year later, her remains were found in this park. Now, with Rachel Marin, she is, she was found in a park, Bel Air. It's called the Ma Pa Trail. And some people are saying it's kind of similar because they don't know who killed Rachel Marin. Like, if it was a loved one, someone within her inner circle, baby's dad, someone that knew her, boyfriend, or was it a total stranger? With Chandra Levy, a stranger, a man from El Salvador, he was an immigrant, Juan Vic. He was arrested, well, indicted, and convicted for the murder of Chandra Levy. But his case is so interesting because there really wasn't evidence on him other than the same guy, Guandique, around the time Chandra Levy went missing, he attacked two females in this park. In this park, attacked two females. And ultimately got convicted and got like a 10 year prison sentence. While he was serving his sentence, he allegedly confessed to a jailhouse informant who told the FBI that he admitted to murdering Chandra Levy. So they indicted him. Like years, years later, 2010. Eventually got convicted. But then it kind of unraveled with this case. The informant that told, because they really had no direct evidence linking Chandra Levy with Guandic, other than a jailhouse informant and then the same pattern of MO, Guandic attacking two other females around the same time Chandra Levy went missing. The prosecution ended up dropping the case. Ended up dropping his case. It's 2016 and he was gone. They deported him back to where the country he is from. So really, Chandra Levy's case is still technically unsolved. They dismissed his case uh, without prejudice, meaning they could you know, retry him. Doubtful that they will. But Rachel Moran, she is missing, right? Just like Chandra Levy, everyone at the time was thinking someone close to Chandra Levy, like Gary Condon, or someone affiliated with Gary Condon. I don't know. Rachel Marin, her case, she was... Now, Chandra Levy, there's no evidence that she was actually in the park. She could have very well got dumped. Her remains were found like way down at the bottom of a hill. It's hilly around here. Look at this terrain. But the point is, it's not uncommon, and we could talk about Guandique attacking two females out here. It's not uncommon for strangers to attack another stranger in a park. It's not uncommon. It happens. 
It happens. So with the Rachel Marin case, is it possible that whoever did this to Rachel Marin was an outside stranger, just kind of similar to like a Guandique type of person that just preyed on a female? Very well possible. Who murdered Rachel Marin? 37-year-old, Bel Air, Maryland, about an hour away from here. But people come out to these parks just to enjoy themselves and go for a walk along the trail. Chandra Levy went missing after leaving her home. The defense of Guandique was saying that you know, he was a scapegoat. And her remains, Chandra Levy's remains were found down in this park here, down at the bottom of a hill, off a trail. They claim it could have been planted. And Guandic used as a scapegoat. Who murdered Chandra Levy? There's a creek down here. There's a creek down here. Who murdered Rachel Marin? I think there's a creek down here. I mean, you never know who could pop up in the woods. You never know what could happen. And as police in Bel Air authorities, Hartford County said, you know, for females, some people come out here and they jog out in the woods and, you know, they have their buds on. They can't hear. Some people have the same pattern of coming out into the woods to go exercise. The police and the authorities were like, change your habits. Now, I haven't seen anyone since I've made this video. But there could be leap people lurking in the woods. Now, the family of Chandra Levy, I believe the way I'm re reading it, still believe Guandic was the man that did it. Maybe got off on a technicality. Have you followed the case of Chandra Levy? Have you followed the case? What do you think? Who do you think is responsible for Rachel Morin? People come to the parks just to enjoy themselves. Scary that this happens. I just wanted to bring attention to this particular case. I am JLR Investigates. I am out looking uh, to find out who what happened to Rachel Morin, showing you coverage, but this is Rock Creek Park. Chandra Levy. Remains were found in a park here. What do you think? We will talk soon. Subscribe to my channel, like, hit the notification button. JLR Investigates. We will talk soon. Stay tuned.